Question 40. Show that the solution e raised to x, e raised to minus x, e raised to 2x of d square y, uh, d cube y by dx cube minus 2 d square y by dx square minus dy dx dy by dx plus 2y equal to 0 are linearly independent and hence or otherwise solve the given equation. So given y triple dash minus 2 y double dash minus y dash plus 2 y equal to 0. This is our equation. Now y1 of x is equal to e raised to x, y2 of x equal to e raised to minus x, y3 of x equal to e raised to 2x. We have to uh, see whether uh, since it is given e raised to x, e raised to minus e x and e raised to 2x are solutions. We don't have to check whether these are solutions to this differential equation. We can assume that these are two solutions and we'll satisfy this differ differential equation. Now we have, but we have to check whether they are linearly independent. We can use the concept of Ronskian, Ronskian to check whether these solutions are linearly independent. Ronskian is defined as y1 x y2 x y3 x y1 dash of x y2 dash of x and y3 dash of x y1 double dash of x y2 double dash of x y3 double dash of x Ronskin is defined as this. So if Ronskin is not equal to 0 uh, for some uh, x in the defined interval, so we can say that these solutions are linearly independent. So we can check the Ronskin. So this becomes Ronskin is y1x e raised to x e raised to minus x e raised to 2x. So differential is e raised to x itself minus e raised to minus x. 2 e raised to 2x. No, e raised to x itself. e raised to minus x. 4 e raised to 2x. So this is the round skin. So it becomes therefore w of x equal to. We can take e raised to x, e raised to minus x, and e raised to 2x out from each column. So that becomes 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 2, 4. And now we can do the operation, column operation. C2 gives C2 minus C1 to bring zeros. C3 gives C3 minus C1. This column operation doesn't change the value of the determinant. So therefore w x equal to e raised to x, e raised to minus x, e raised to 2 x into first column doesn't change 1. So this becomes 0, this becomes minus 2, this becomes 0. And this becomes 0, 2 minus 1 becomes 1, 4 minus 1 becomes 3. So now we can expand this uh, using this element. It becomes 3 into minus 2, 6, minus 6. So this becomes minus 6 into e raised to x, e raised to minus x, e raised to 2x. So uh, e raised to x into e raised to minus x is 1. So Therefore, this is wx. W of x is equal to minus 6 e raised to 2x. So we got our round skin, which is which is not equal to 0 uh, for minus infinity to infinity. Uh, so in the interval, 
for uh, it's not identically zero uh, for if the, uh, for no value raised to x is only at minus infinity this becomes zero so uh, this is not equal to zero uh, w x is uh, not equal to zero uh, in the interval open interval minus infinity to infinity uh, so we can say therefore we can say y1 of x y2 of x and y3 of x are linearly independent solution solutions and for general equation we can write since uh, our differential equation was of order 3 we know that there there will be three arbitrary constants and we have our three equations so we can write c1 y1 plus c2 y2 plus c3 y3 so this is the general equation uh, so we can simplify therefore y equal to c1 e raised to x plus c2 e raised to minus x plus c3 e raised to 2x is the solution uh, to this problem so these are the steps That is the solution to question number 40.